cooking. In this segment, we are getting the recipe for what is known as a beefy harvest soup. Here's Taryn and Joan. All right, thank you, John. Yeah, I'm here with Joan Ruskamp, and Joan is from Dodge. Always love having her on the show. And is this a recipe that's yours, or did you get it from someone, Joan? It's from the Beef It's What's For Dinner. So our culinary people, they create different recipes for us to use. Mm -hmm. And I, what I love about this recipe is it's something you can make ahead and have on hand. And a lot of times as we approach Thanksgiving and Christmas, we'll get gift sets like of sausage and cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and maybe you get a few too many. So this incorporates some of that smoked sausage into the recipe, mm -hmm. kind of a fall flavor. And if you get tired of eating turkey or ham, this is a great soup to have together for a lot of people to eat. Um, and it's, it's real solid and delicious. And you can always add other things if you like to, to, to add some more flavors. Right? <laughs> right, right. Okay, you so can this, do that. This yes. is called beefy harvest soup. Beefy harvest soup, right. So okay. first of all, you want to ground your ground beef, or brown your ground, be ground beef. Let's get those terms together here. And I've done that already. <laughs> okay. And so um, once that's browned, you're going to get another pot, and you're going to pour in four cups of water. And you're going to pour in a cup of large egg noodles. Mm -hmm. And you're going to pour in one can of Italian stewed tomatoes. And if you want to scrape this, this is a beef bouillon, a cup and a half of mixed vegetables. And you can really buy whatever type of mixed vegetables. My mixed veg vegetables are usually like a corn, carrot, pea bean. And you can use beef bouillon granules, cubes, or I use like a paste because I really like the flavor of this paste. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to take all those ingredients and you're going to boil all of this until the noodles are done. Um, it takes about oh, roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. And then while that, and then turn it down to simmer a little bit. And then you're going to slice some sausage, nice thin slices. My husband and I, have, as we've been sampling, because I always sample this before I come on the yeah. show. Um, we talked about the fact that we would probably even maybe mm -hmm. cut those slices in half or so because it's a big slice to eat. You could also use sausage um, in the tubes more, you know, where they're smaller ones like you bite off to eat. Mm -hmm. You could take those and slice them in, say, half inch chunks. You know, you can change whatever sausage you have, I think would work great for this recipe. So um, as you're finishing slicing, then I'm okay. going to, we'll pretend that our pot is boiling and the noodles are close to done. And then I'm going to stir in the brown ground beef and mix that together. And then you're going to. Pour in those sausage slices. Okay. This is so easy, everybody. I mean, it's just so, so easy. And you're just going to stir that together. What this looks like in here. And let that simmer on your mm -hmm. stove. It has a nice aroma, right. a nice sausage flavor. And you, you, if you let this sit overnight, the sausage flavor will go into the soup and it will be less in the actual sausage itself. And so Ooh, that would be great. something to be careful about. But right, so through the magic of TV, we have a crock pot full of fresh mm -hmm. soup here for Taryn to try. Um, it, it has a good smell to it too, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. it? Has it? Um, this is so pretty too. There's 35 grams of protein in one serving of this soup. So it's a real Ooh, high that. protein. You've got your B vitamins, and we know how important B vitamins are for, for our brains. Niacin, mm. you know, all zinc, um, the iron, that protein, all those things that help us with our health. And so mm. I think you can be creative with your vegetables. You could put a little garlic in if you'd like. Mm -hmm. I, I did not add salt and pepper. The recipe mm -hmm. does have salt and pepper, but depending on your sausage, you might have plenty of salt already in there. And so that'd be one thing I'd, I'd encourage people yeah. to kind of play with that salt a little bit. It's very, very good. Perfect for this time of year. And Great. Uh, what kind of sausage did you use? Just a smoked summer sausage. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. And a lot of those are what you find in those gift sets that You're we right. get. With the, right. And You're they right. come in all sizes. So it's a great way. I think at Thanksgiving too, we kind of, we love turkey, but um, we have, we kind of crave that beef flavor again, yeah. and this is a great soup. It's easy to throw together if you have company and you're tired of cooking, and just <laughs> throw this together. Right. Uh, you might have some vegetables left from the Thanksgiving meal that we don't want to waste them. Um, put them, put them to good use, right? Okay, John, right. thank you. We will have this recipe on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. John